and sadly we did not move on that. Let's not make the same mistake now. It is time to make marriage equality the law of the state of Illinois, as well as we should make it the law of the United States. Yes. I mean, our, we are all one. We are a country that lives by the law. Why should we deny equal rights and, and uh, under the law? in such a way as, as we, we discriminate against people and marginalize them as if they were not part of us. This is something that should not be a Republican or a Democratic issue, any kind of an issue. This belongs to the people of the state of Illinois, to the human race, if you will. And so we should take each other in a respectful fashion and live under the law for all. No discrimination, none. And it's time we made this happen. As far as I'm concerned, I, you know, and I'm a Republican because I believe in small government. Government has no business telling people they can't marry when they want to marry. Right? So I'm asking my colleagues and members of my party to come along as well because it is time we make this the law of Illinois and not be left behind as other states go forward and do the right thing. This is where history is going. Let's be a part of it. God bless you all. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, across the state capitol today, in the grounds of the state capitol today, across the state of Illinois today, and in fact across our nation today, all eyes are upon the Illinois House of Representatives. The U.S. Constitution talks about extending the blessings of liberty to ourselves and to our posterity. And that journey, that journey toward freedom, toward fairness, for equal treatment for all citizens has been a long and difficult one for these United States. And it's a journey that continues. And with each step, America has become a better place, a more fair place, and a more equal place. And now it is our job. It is our job in the House of Representatives, and I call upon my colleagues to do the right thing to answer the voices of history, to follow in the footsteps of those of us who have gone before and extend the benefits of liberty to all citizens of Illinois, to all families, to strengthen our communities, to strengthen our state, to provide stability across our, our, our state from north to south, because ladies and gentlemen, Passing marriage equality and respecting the rights of all families is the right thing for us to do. We need to step up and we need to do the right thing. Thank you. In this country and in this state, we know where it rests. It's with the Catholic Church, it's not with the black church. It's with the, the white leadership of the house it's not with the black leadership of the house. We know, we know our allies have always been diverse. There have been people on all, of all races for us and all races against us. We must not let them divide us. They want to divide us. I need to apologize as a clergyman and as a bishop in the Lord's Church for the arrogance and the ignorance and the obstinance that we have had for so many years, for the abuse, the mistreatment, the demeaning attitude we have had toward gay people, our brothers and sisters who are same gender loving. I apologize on the behalf of millions who may not feel the courage to say I'm sorry.